To my crochet channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet the firecracker shrug. Now I originally wrote this pattern probably about seven or eight years ago and the yarn that I used is no longer available and so I thought this beautiful yarn called hot sauce, <laughs> it's a variegated red heart yarn, I thought it was perfect for this shrug. The neat thing about this shrug is when we went back in and updated the pattern, we added lots of different sizes. The shrug is written from size small through three extra large, and it's really easy to adjust. You can find all those adjustments, all those sizes, stitch counts, repeats, and all of that information on the blog and as always I'm gonna put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video I'm also going to give you that information here on the video and so if you want to make it small the shrugs going to measure about 27 inches wide for the medium it's going to measure approximately 30 inches wide for the large it's going to measure approximately 33 inches wide. For the extra large, 36 inches wide. For the 2X, 39 inches wide. And for the 3X, 42 inches wide. Now we made it this way in order for you to be able to adjust the pattern to get a good comfy fit. So I do recommend having that tape measure with you when you're working on this pattern. Because even if you're a, maybe say a 3X, you're not maybe that tall or maybe you're really tall. And so you need to be able to adjust this pattern to fit your body. And we've tried to do that with all the adjustments and new notes and pictures that we added for this pattern. To make the firecracker shrug, you're going to need some medium weight number four yarn and you're going to need anywhere from 12 to 20 ounces depending on what size you make because remember this pattern goes from small to 3x and the smallest size takes about 12 ounces and the largest size takes about 20 ounces and so you'll have to decide what size you're making to know how much yarn you're going to need. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver in Ombre this color is called Hot Sauce. It's beautiful yarn. You can see it has all different shades of light orange to sort of a melon color and a little bit darker. It's just a beautiful, beautiful yarn and I love it for this shrug. We're going to be stitching today with our J-hook, which is a 6.00 millimeter crochet hook. And we're using a J-hook because again, even though this is a medium weight number four yarn, we want it to be a little bit loose and lacy. We're going to use a needle just for weaving in ends and a pair of scissors. And that's all you need to make a shrug for yourself. We'll be stitching our shrug in rows up and down. And as we stitch those rows, it will determine the width of our shrug and then we'll also be stitching our rows of course and the amount of chains will determine the length of our shrug once we get our shrug made then we'll fold it in half to form the shrug all right just to give you an idea of how the shrug is stitched up so we're going to begin with our slip knot and we're going to chain the amount needed for each size. All right, so if you're making a small, you need 88 chains. 
If you're making a medium, you need 91 chains. If you're making a large, you need 94 chains. If you're making an extra large, you need 97 chains. If you're making a 2X, you need 100 chains. And if you're making the 3X size, you need 103 chains. Since I'm going to be making the small for our demonstration today, I'm going to make my slip knot and chain 88 chains. And I recommend that you chain this beginning chain just a little bit loose because you don't want one end of your shrug to be all puckered up. So make your slip knot and chain the amount of chains you need for the size that you're making. I have chained those 88 chains and something that I do when I'm making a long chain is I, I will chain 20 and then put a stitch marker. Then I'll chain 20 more and put a stitch marker. That way I don't have to keep recounting all my chains. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, and then eight more for my 88. I'm gonna go ahead and take out those stitch markers. That's just something that I do, um, you know, to try to help me work smarter, not harder. <laughs> all right, now, what we're going to do is we're going to stitch a half double crochet and the second chain from the hook. So yarn over, go in that second chain, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all three. And now what we're going to do is just stitch one half double crochet in each of those chains across. Now we began in the second chain from the hook. So I'm going to have 87 instead of 88 half double crochets. And you'll have one less stitch than you did chains. And that stitch count will be your stitch count for the remainder of making the body of our shrug. So we're going to stitch for all sizes, one half double crochet, starting in the second chain from the hook and stitching one in each of the chains across. I completed that row of one half double crochet in each of the chains across. And again, we started in the second chain from the hook so we have one less stitch than we did chains. I chained 88, so I have 87 half double crochets. Chain one and turn. And for row two, we're gonna go right in that first stitch. The chain one does not count as a stitch and stitch that half double crochet. And then we'll stitch one half double crochet in each of the half double crochets across. And so for row two, we're just stitching one half double crochet in each of the half double crochets all the way across. I completed row two, stitching one half double crochet in each of the half double crochets all the way across, chain one and turn. And our chain one here again does not count as a stitch. And for row three, we're just going to repeat what we did for row two. We'll stitch a half double crochet right in that first stitch and one half double crochet in each of the half double crochets across. And so again, we're just stitching one half double crochet in each of our half double crochets across this row. 
I completed row three, which was again one half double crochet and each half double crochet across. And so we have three rows of solid half double crochet. This time we're going to chain three and turn. We're going to stitch a double crochet in the next stitch. Our chain three here counts as our first stitch. So we'll double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next. And this is our repeat for row four. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one and double crochet in the next and we'll repeat this all the way across our row until we reach those last two double crochets. Chain one, skip one, string out of the way there, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next, all the way across our row. I completed row four, stitching, double crochet, chain one, skip one, all the way across, and this brings me to the end where we have three stitches left. Chain one, we'll skip the next, and double crochet in the last two stitches. And chain three. Now we're going to turn our work and for row five our chain three counts is our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the double crochet. We're going to chain one and skip that chain one space and go to the next double crochet and double crochet. And so the way the repeat works for row five is double crochet in the double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in the double crochet. There we go. Chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet and you can see it forms kind of a mesh looking pattern and that's our repeat across for row five. Chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet and repeat all the way across. I completed row five, chain one, double crochet in the next, chain one, double crochet in the next, and it forms, like I said, this nice mesh looking stitch. Here's the end of my row, chain one, and then double crochet in the last two double crochets. And chain three. And then for row six, we're just going to repeat what we did for row five. Double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, and repeat across. So what we're doing for row six is repeating row five. I have completed row six and now we have three rows of half double crochets and then three rows of this mesh double crochet stitch. At the end of row six 
we're only going to chain one and not three because we're going to go back to stitching half double crochets. So we'll stitch a half double crochet in that first stitch. We'll stitch a half double crochet in that next double crochet. And then we'll stitch a half double crochet in that chain one space. And so we're doing a solid row of half double crochets. So we're stitching a half double crochet in each double crochet and a half double crochet in each chain one space. So one half double crochet in each double crochet and in each chain one space all the way across and this will give us a solid row of half double crochets. I completed row seven stitching one half double crochet in each chain one space and in each double crochet all the way across I'm going to chain one and turn and now what we're going to do for the next two rows is stitch one half double crochet in each half double crochet across there we go one half double crochet in each half double crochet across chain one and turn and repeat that way we'll have three rows of half double crochets like we do down here so for the next two rows one half double crochet in each half double crochet chain one and turn and repeat I completed those two rows of half double crochet so I have three rows of half double crochet and then I have a chain three because we're going to go back to doing the mesh row stitches so what you're going to do is you're going to repeat row four row five row six row seven row eight and row nine until it's the length that you need for your size if you're making the small and the medium, you're going to repeat R4 through R9 six more times. If you're making the large and the extra large, you're going to repeat those rows four through nine seven times. And if you're making the 2X and 3X, you're going to repeat those rows eight more times. Once you have done the amount of repeats that you need for your size, make sure that you measure so that it's the width that you need. So here is my actual shrug that I made for me, and I made this one in the large size. The demo, of course, was made in the small size. And so you need to do the amount of repeats that's needed for your size. And then I suggest because your rows are your width of your shrug, I suggest you grab your tape measure and measure you or whoever you're making this for and measure the shrug to make sure you're going to get a good fit. Also, make sure that you end on three rows of half double crochet to end on. When you get to your last row of half double crochet, chain one, but don't cut your yarn. So now we're going to take our rectangle and form it into the shrug. You're going to fold it in half and make sure that your striping is going this direction, not this direction because that's the way that the shrug is made. We're going to fold it in half. Okay. 
And down here, over here, is where we left our yarn attached. We're going to attach here. We're going to stitch around the bottom of using just one layer of the shrug. And then we'll attach here as well. And then we'll stitch around the back layer of the shrug. So here's where we ended. Here's our last three rows of half double crochet. We're going to take the front and the back and we're going to join them together on that edge. Whoops, we're going to do this with a half double crochet, so I need to yarn over first and then go in the first stitch in the back and the first stitch in the front and stitch my half double crochet. And we're going to do that just in this area of those three rows of half double crochet. Yarn over, and this is just evenly stitching. There, and we're trying to go in the sides of those stitches. And you want to stitch four half double crochets. So there's three, and we'll stitch one more. There we go. Now we're not going to stitch on the back and stitch them together because we joined them here, but we want that to join. And now we're going to just stitch along this edge, evenly stitching half double crochets. And again, we want to try to go in the stitches and not the holes. And we're just working in the sides of the stitches. There we go. Trying to go in stitches. There may be a spot or two where you have to go through a hole, but we want to try to go in the sides of those stitches and stitch half double crochets working all the way across this edge of our shrug. Take your time. There isn't going to be a set amount of stitches in this area. You're just going to want to put them close, but not too close. You don't want them bunching up, but you don't want them pulling either. You want them to look nice and neat. All right, so we stitched four half double crochets, joining the front and back together, and now we're stitching half double crochets just across the back of our shrug. And we'll do this all the way across until we reach the other end, and we'll stitch four half double crochets there as well. We joined here, the front and the back. We stitched those four half double crochets joining them. And then I stitched evenly half double crochets all the way across this back side. And now I've got my two ends here and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to stitch four half double crochets Get in there. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. Because we want to stitch across this other side. And of course, it's up to you which is your front and your back. That part doesn't matter because the, sh the shrug's going to look the same on this side as this side. All right. So what we're going to do, we chained one we turned, we're going to slip stitch in those four stitches. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to evenly stitch across this side. And we'll do it exactly the same. Stitching evenly across trying to stitch in stitches and not holes and get a nice even row 
of half double crochets across. So I stitched those four half double crochets and then I stitched all the way across evenly on this side half double crochets and it brings me back to the other side. Now we're not going to join to this end, we're going to join to the first half double crochet right after those four. We're going to join with the slip stitch and chain one and then we're going to turn our work. So we're going back the direction that we came and what we're going to do is we're going to stitch a half double crochet working all the way around back over here where these four are stitched but we won't go on those. We'll go right here and stitch back this way. Alright, and we're going to stitch a half double crochet in each of those half double crochets around. Make sure you turn your work here and go back the direction that you came from. We turned our work here we didn't stitch over those four stitches and we stitched back half double crochets all the way back to this other side. Here's those four stitches and so what we're going to do one, two, three, four. So I'll stitch one more half double crochet and then we'll turn over this way and stitch a half double crochet in that first stitch and then continue stitching half double crochets, there we go, back across this other side, all right. So now we're stitching across the last side, one half double crochet and each half double crochet across. And then when we get back to that other side, we'll join and tie off. And then the last thing we'll have to do is just tidy up the sleeves a little bit and our shrug will be ready to wear. So I finished stitching back across and I'm back over here where we started when we turned. And so I'm just going to join to that first half double crochet with a slip stitch and I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to grab that loop and pull it to the inside and then I can weave that in with my needle. And I'll do that real quick and then again like I stated all we have left to do is to tidy up the sleeves so they look nice. So now the bottom of our shrug is all finished. And all we have left to do is the armholes or the sleeves. I've already done this one. All I did is stitch a row of single crochet all the way around the edge. And it's good to do this right here where we stitch those four half double crochets just to give it a little, bo a little bit more stability. So here's the other side. And so what we're going to do is in front of where we stitched those four, we're just going to join our yarn in. There we go. Chain one. And now we're just going to stitch a single crochet in each of those half double crochets around the arm opening or sleeve. And this just gives the arm a little bit more stability. And if you prefer, you could also do a half double crochet around here if you wanted a little bit longer sleeve. I don't because I consider this a spring, summer, and maybe fall weight shrug. And so I'm just going to stitch one single crochet in each of the half double crochets all the way around the arm opening or sleeve. And then I'll join back over here to that first single crochet that I stitched.
I've single crocheted around the arm opening or sleeve. I'm going to join to that first single crochet. Cut my yarn and tie off. Pull that loop to the inside. There we go. And we, of course, do have those two ends to weave in, but now our edge of our sleeve is much more secure where we joined the front and the back together. All right, so I'm going to weave this in, and my shrug is finished. So here is my completed shrug, my two armholes, my edges sewn together, and this beautiful stitch pattern along with this gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. It's all ready for me to wear over my sundress or tank top or whatever I want to go along with this shrug. Mm -hmm.